question number 141 all of the following are present in all connective tissues without exception except and options are nucleated cells fibers matrix proteins and the correct answer to this question is option number two fibers fibers are absent in blood so is the correct answer option number one is incorrect because nucleated cells like wbc's are present in blood option number three and four are incorrect because proteins like collagen elastin fibrinogen and albumin are component of connective tissues so the correct answer to this question is option number two Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 142. Loose connective tissues present beneath the skin include options are areolar tissue, muscular tissue, adipose tissue, neural tissue. Choose the correct option. Now, among the given options, option number A, areolar tissue and option number C, adipose tissue are loose connective tissues. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3, A and C, whereas C and D are incorrect. A, B and C, fourth option is also an incorrect option. So, the correct answer is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 143, read the following statements. The very first statement say, Tendon is an example of dense regular connective tissue that connects bone to bone. And this is an incorrect statement because tendon connects muscle to bone. It is the ligament that connects bone to bone. The next statement is dense irregular connective tissue consists of differently oriented collagen fibers. And this is a correct statement. Now choose the correct options. The very first option only A is correct is incorrect. Our statement is incorrect. Only B is correct is the correct answer to our question. Both A and B are correct. Both A and B are incorrect are incorrect options. And the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 144. Cartilage in fetus differs from bones in adults due to the presence of and the options are lacunae, collagen fibers, pliable matrix and lamellae and the correct answer to this question is option number 3. The intercellular material of cartilage is solid and pliable and resist compression whereas bones have hard and non-pliable ground substances rich in calcium salts and collagen fibers which give bone its strength. Lamellae are present in bone, lacunae are present in both cartilage and bones and same is with collagen fibers. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 145. Match column 1 and column 2 with respect to types of epithelium and their location. The very first option given in column 1 is walls of blood vessels and as walls of blood vessels are lined by squamous epithelium so a in column one goes with fourth option in column two the next option given in column one is inner lining of ducts of salivary glands and as it is lined by compound epithelium so b in column one goes with first option in column two the next option in column one is innermost lining of stomach and as the innermost lining of stomach is of columnar epithelium so C goes with the second option and the last option is innermost lining of bronchioles and as it is lined by ciliated epithelium. So D in column 1 goes with 3 option in column 2. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4, A with 4, B with 1, C with 2 and D with 3. So the correct answer is option number 4. Let's proceed to the next question. Mm -hmm. 